Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today we're going to be talking about Paxton Nectar and the Hike NVR. First thing we need to do is to go and get our drivers for the NVR. So we're heading over to the Paxton website. Uh, I'm going to just go over to the integration section, which is in here. If you just click on the view link, we'll get to see all the integrations with Paxton. We're particularly interested in some of the CCTV stuff. And if we scroll down, we'll see the Hikvision NVR. Now here's the link at the bottom of the page. Um, it currently only supports one camera, but we're going to test that. And this link really only works on Internet Explorer. Once you've opened it up, uh, click on the driver for Paxton and choose your version. We're currently using version 6, so we're going to use that version. And I just click on the zip file to download it. Once it's downloaded, uh, we will have to unzip it and we'll have to start the install over. So I'm just going to save it first. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to save it. I'll uh, we'll just open the file. And as I said, we're just going to extract it and then run the install. Right. Once we've run the install, uh, we should see uh, over in the options section and go down to camera integration should be able to add a new integration section and we'll then see the Hikvision DVR system or NVR in our case. Uh, we need to put the address of the NVR in. I need to find that first so I'm going to use the SADP tool. That tells me where my NVR is. I also have another camera on the network. This, this camera is connected to the NVR as well. Uh, I'm just going to show you that so we'll just log on to the web pages a minute and we'll get into the configuration of the NVR. Right, I just need to log on, uh, put our password in, our uh, username, and we'll log on. Uh, so we'll have two images, two cameras, uh, just for this test purposes. And if we look at the camera management section, we'll soon find that we'd notice that that camera is connected on the network. But So we just need to use the NVR Right, uh, now we know the address and we know the user and password work. I'm just going to enter these details into the uh, integration options here. So as we said before, we know it's 192.168.0.29. Um, and we need to enter a port number. For Hikvision, it's 8000. You'll find that in the setup. And we need to enter a username and password that's valid. Right, once we've done that, we need to press detect and it will detect all the cameras connected to the NVR. That includes camera 2, which is on the network. Just need to apply it now. And that's us done the integration. Right, I just need to check the configuration of the door controller. Uh, the door controller is on the same IP address range uh, as the cameras, which is what we need for this to work. Um, right, so if we go over to the door section, uh, and click on the controller. We'll see that uh, we've got two readers connected to reader 1 and reader 2 uh, amongst a few other things connected to the controller. But you'll now notice there's a camera integration tab and we can select whatever camera we want now to be associated with that door. So I'm going to select camera 2 for a minute and just click apply. Them changes have been saved. Um, so now I need to go and check on my user. I've put my own name in there for now. And I just need to check I've got access all the time to all the doors for the minute because uh, we're just testing this, but you can have it in all sorts of ways. Uh, and now I just need to go, to go and create an event. So the event is my uh, card and I'm going to approach the, the reader with the card. And there we see it access permitted uh, and, and all looks good. You'll notice the little camera icon at the very top. If I click on this icon, a separate window will pop up allowing me to review the footage. So here we go. I presented the card. It's exactly the same time. Right. Uh, it mentions that it's only available for one door, but uh, if we actually go back into the integration and select two cameras and apply that change, and if we go back to the events uh, uh, and click on the camera again, you'll soon find out that it, it actually supports two cameras. I uh, don't know how many more, but uh, two cameras at least. Uh, there you have it. I uh, hope that all helped. Uh, catch you later for another session. Don't forget to subscribe.